she was seven i'm back okay i know it's been a while since i put out a video like a advice or a topic video so here i am i'm back okay i had some issues that i had to take care of and everything is solved okay so um today's topic someone asked me to do a topic on gold diggers versus a woman who wants traditional relationship with traditional values okay there are two different types of women who want successful men um gold diggers and women who want to have a traditional role and a traditional traditional marriage where she stays home she doesn't have to work and she's taken care of by her husband and are able to raise her kids gold diggers are just out for what they can get materially money purses cars clothes jewelry and then once they get what they want they'll move on to the next person they could be gold digging more than one person at one time versus a woman who just wants the traditional relationship with a man of means she wants to marry this man she wants to have his children she wants to be his wife and she wants to be a mother um she wants to uh you know be able to take care of her children she wants to do stuff in the community maybe she wants to do things for herself better herself maybe you know uh, start her own business or do crafts at home and stuff like that she wants the life where she can actually be a feminine woman raise her kids explore her artistic side her creativities and all that kind of stuff okay she loves the person that she's with she's married she's in for the long haul she has invested okay now the gold digger will use somebody up get what they want and then move on to the next person or they will try to marry them and then divorce them and take all their money and this is the plan from from start okay they'll often have a side dude who you know they might take care of or give money to or um they also might have another guy that they're gold digging on and getting money from as well like sugar daddy or whatever so how to tell the difference you ask them you know this is for the guys you ask them where they see themselves in five years if they say oh kids marriage house in, in the suburbs da, 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 da. you know if you're there in their future that's a good sign now if you ask a gold digger where she sees herself don't say don't don't say where do you see us in five years this is the trick you say, where do you see yourself in five years? If you're not in that, then she's a gold digger. <laughs> oh, you know, if you're seriously dating. Not if you just meet her, because obviously that's going to be di a different situation. But if you've been with someone a while and you want to test and see if they're a gold digger, and you say, well, where do you see yourself in five years? And she'll say, oh, I want to live in, you know, California. I want to have this. I want to have this kind of car. I want to... She's naming off all these material things and you're not there. Then obviously that's gold digging. But if you're there in her future, oh, I want to have kids. I want us to get married. I see us living in the house in this neighborhood. I see uh, this, 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 and that. Oh, I'll be shopping and decorating the house and we'll be going on vacation. If you're there and some kids are there that aren't even born yet, that's a woman who wants a traditional relationship where the man is the provider and she uh, is the wife, mother, whatever. Okay, um, now a lot of guys get these two types confused because one just has high standards and want a very nice life and the other one is just out to use you. So how do you know, like how can you test a woman that, you know, that she's not going to use you and then leave with all your goods? You give her something and that's the test. You give her a large sum of money if you have it. And see what she does with it. If she up and leaves and she's like, oh, I'm out. I got this money. I can go do whatever I want. If she up and leaves or does something very selfish with it, then you know she's a gold digger. If she buys you something and stays and says, hey, let's go on vacation with this money. Or, hey, you know, let's save this for our future house or whatever. If she says that or if she just saves it and stays with you and acts like she never got it or spent it or anything like that, that's a good that's a good sign that you know she's in it for the long run but if you give a gold digger a bunch of money all at one time and they disappear and don't include you that's how you know she's a gold digger <laughs> okay so for example if, if if someone if i was back in the day when i was you know hot and uh single and free 
and, and some guy was dating gave me like a bunch of money let's say ten thousand dollars five thousand dollars one thousand dollars let's just say one thousand just to be generous to you know all the guys out there I could go shopping by myself a purse I could buy myself some clothes or whatever or I could go you know whatever I could pay my bills whatever if you buy him one thing out of that thousands of dollars out of that thousand dollars that's a good sign that she's not a gold digger because she could have kept it all and asked for more so if I go and buy me a purse and I'm in the store and I buy you a wallet or a belt that's a good sign now if I go buy me a purse a wallet and uh, a keychain and you get nothing that's another sign okay um, and sometimes you know guys get these kind of women confused because they're so close together but the key question is family like do you want to settle down um, and even though you don't mean it like even if you're not ready to settle down and you ask them do you ever see yourself having kids you know watch their facial expression if they light up and say yeah I don't want kids or if they look at you crazy like I ain't having no kids at you gold digger okay like um I don't know I never really thought about kids that means she's using you for money she doesn't see you as a father of her children or her husband okay she sees you as a means um, a way of means now um, you can tell a gold digger they won't get super jealous if other women are around you they'll just act like whatever I can go get somebody else real quick but if, if she's a keeper if she just wants a good lifestyle she'll be very protective of you she'll stay close to you she'll make sure everyone in the room knows that you are for her only and she won't be you know all up in other men's face or you know stuff like that and she won't always talk about material things it'll be it'll be on her list but it's not going to be top priority she's going to talk about goals and future and dreams and how she's always wanted this type of family life and how she uh, imagined the perfect guy and you're you were it and blah 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 the other woman will talk more about herself because gold diggers are more selfish and they only care about what they can get from you and then moving on to the next person okay now some gold diggers can actually turn into the type of woman that you can marry and settle down with because they will fall in love with you 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 know out of your generosity you know spending time getting to know you and then they could change like their answer could change in six months you know some women start off as gold digging on a guy and then they actually fall for them they're like oh you know he's really nice I think I could settle down with this one and you know I'm gonna change my ways and blah 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 and you'll see them start to change and get more generous and spend more time quality time and actually start to care and see themselves with the guy and having kids with the guy and starting a family into the future you know so it could be it could go both ways um, now you can get a good girl that also turns into a gold digger okay let me tell y'all how that happens so you start off with a good girl and she starts hanging around gold diggers and seeing what their guys are buying them versus what you're not buying her so she might not have been a gold digger at first but her best friend just hooked you know just started dating this rich guy who's buying her purses wallets trips you know giving her spending money taking her shopping while you're not doing any of that and when it comes to women we're very catty and we have like this rival like oh my god I look better than you why is your man doing this for you and mine is mine doesn't even pay for you know they're gonna start you know want to compete so they're gonna start looking at you different they're gonna like baby can you buy me a purse and you're like where is this coming from this is not who I meant oh baby can you? because she's trying to impress her friend because she wants her friends to think that you're a good man too and that you can do the same things as her man so it's it's not really gold digging it's like oh my god you know she feels left out because her friend is getting all the goods while you're being the good girl and you know you're not getting anything in return you know so she's you know she might say well I want to get me a purse I got, you know I have to have this purse I'm gonna go, you know I might buy it for myself but I can't even brag to say a guy bought it for me that's kind of like I copied her but if you buy it for me as a gift then you know it's cool so a lot of young girls will go through that 
okay? And I know it seems petty and stupid, but this is what happens, okay? So, men, I'm just gonna give you all some tips. Every holiday, buy your girl an expensive gift, okay? I don't care what it is. Just make sure it's something she can brag about. Women like to brag on gifts that men buy them. So, don't buy her no crap. Don't buy her no cheap stuff. Get her something she can brag about. Get her something she's not expecting. Shut her up, you know? You don't have to spend money until the next holiday, okay? So, and she'll let things slide if you're buying her nice gifts. She, she'll be like, oh, well, you know, he might not spend, a, you know, a lot of money out on me. We might not go to the best restaurants, but I know when that holiday comes up, he's going to he's gonna give me something really nice so, that I can brag about. And I'll wear it every day and I'll brag to my friends, oh, look what my man bought me. Oh, my man bought me this. You know, jewelry is a good thing because you can always wear it year round and doesn't go out of style. So, remember that, guys. Gold digging is only for those who are out to get what they want and leave your ass. Um, and those women who want the traditional relationship where the man wears the pants, provides someone they can brag on, they want to be there. They want to spend time with you, but they want nice things as well. Okay. So, and this kind of woman is a quality woman. She's a high quality woman and she's not going to just settle for anybody. She's not going to be dating the losers. She's not going to have like, you know, a, you know, a bunch of baggage because she has high standards. Okay. And she's not just going to leave you for a loser. She's, if she leaves you, she's going to improve. She's going to go with somebody much better than you. Okay. So y'all keep that in mind. All right. I'll see you guys on my next video. Again, if y'all have a cool topic, put them in the comments and if y'all like this makeup look it's going to be out on my beauty channel probably tomorrow this is my little summer retro uh look so thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel click the subscribe button and i'll see y'all next time